let's make your website super fast with lightspeed cache plugin so before we start let's see why you even need to watch this video and why i am even making this video so reason one lightspeed's wordpress is up to 12 times faster than your normal wordpress hosted by nginx or apache server if we look at benchmark you can see lightspeed scoring around 69000 where it is hosted on lightspeed server and lightspeed cache plugin when by nginx and fast cgi cache plugin only 6000 and with apache and w3 total cache 826 and W3 Total Cache is one of the most complete plugin for WordPress for caching and making website speed improvement. So the second reason is it is all in one plugin. So when you use Lightspeed Cache plugin, you do not need other plugins like for JS optimization, CS optimization, image optimization, database optimization, web images, CDN, nothing. You just need one plugin which is Lightspeed Cache which will make your website simple, lighter and cleaner. And guys, this will be one of the most important speed improvement tutorial for you. I'll try my best so that you do not need to watch any more tutorial on how to increase website speed. So make sure you watch video carefully until the end. One more important thing, all the general features may be used by anyone with any web server, whether you're using Lightspeed server, you're using Nginx or Apache server. There's some exclusive feature which are only available if you're using Lightspeed server. I'm gonna show you how you can know if you're using Lightspeed server or not. I use super fast Lightspeed server and I pay around $2 per month. If you want to know my hosting, you can check the description of this video. Before we dive into my screen and I show you everything in detail, I would like to give a big thank to all the subscribers of the channel. We are growing so fast. We are very close to reach 2000 subscribers. So big thank you for all of you guys because of you, this channel is growing so fast. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button because you will not find anywhere else such unique, original and super useful content. Okay, so let's deep dive into Lightspeed Cache plugin. So log into WordPress dashboard and then hover on plugins and click add new and then search here Lightspeed and now you're going to install this plugin Lightspeed Cache. You can see there are 2 plus million active installation and they have almost 5 star rating and you can see this was updated 3 weeks ago. So this is a very reliable plugin. It is updated frequently. Click on install now. Make sure whenever you install a WordPress plugin, it is updated frequently or not. And what is the rating? Do not install any plugin just like that because it is appearing first on search results. So now plugins installed. Click on activate. So the plugin is activated. So let me show you the scores which I performed before installing this plugin. So this is my website page speed scores. For mobile, it's scoring only 19. And for desktop, it's scoring only 60. And guys, trust me, I need to do a lot of effort to make my website looking bad because you know I specialize in speed improvement. Normally my website is super fast, but I removed all the optimization and I really added some challenges on my website so that it looks very bad. 19 and 60. Okay, so being that said, Let's go back to plugins. So now when the plugin is activated, you can find it from two places. First place, you'll find it in the settings. If you own settings, then you find this option, Lightspeed Cache. But from here, you'll find limited options. So now you can find this plugin in left side bar, click on Lightspeed Cache. So this Lightspeed Cache dashboard, you can see overall statistics about your website. You can see a lot of data here. You can see page load time before it was 1.24 second and after 0.10 second improved by 92%, page speed scores were 56, which improved to 100 by 44%. So these were the old scores while I was testing this plugin to make video for you guys. In your case, you will not have anything here. You need to click the refresh button. Once you click the refresh button, you will see your current scores. And then we have some image optimization summary, cache status, lot of option here. This will give you overall idea about light speed cache plugin on your website. In your case, you will not have anything in starting here. So let's see everything one by one. So the first thing is general. Click on general. They will ask you to automatically upgrade, yes or no. Normally, you keep it on. In very rare cases, it can break your website. If you're somebody who's scared of this thing, you can keep it off. Then you need a domain key. You can click on request domain key and a domain key will be added. And when you refresh the page, your domain key will be added here. And then we have guest mode on. I'll keep it on. And the guest optimization, I will also keep it on. Then they'll ask your server IP. You can just click here, check my public IP. And you can copy this IP and paste it here. And then if you want notification, keep it on, otherwise off. Once done, click on save changes. Then your tuning option is really not important. We're going to skip this part. Then we have cache, which is really very important. You can see multiple tabs here. So you need to make sure you enable everything. Enable cache, cache logged in users, cache commenters, cache rest API, cache login page, cache fav icon, cache php resources, cache mobile. You need to bring it on. They say serve a separate cache copy for mobile visitors not just for mobile visitors because we are going to use after very important thing which is critical css so when you're going to use critical css you need to have this option enabled cache mobile and rest everything else on this page you can leave default and once done go to the end and click on save changes now ttl you can leave everything by default it works perfectly fine we will not waste time on these small things because we are going to focus only on the important thing which will really significantly increase your website speed so you can click on save changes once done 
then you have purge keep this on it will purge the cache when a plugin is updated then you can leave all this option like this so whenever a page or post is updated the cache will be purged then server stale you can leave this off rest everything else on this page you can leave by default then you have excludes you can exclude some urls on your website for example if you see some problem with cache plugin you can take the url of that page and you can leave it here for example if cart page or checkout page is not working you can just add the url of your cart page or checkout page here then you have ESI, which is very helpful if you're using WooCommerce website. So you can enable ESI, then enable cache admin bar, cache comment form on, and everything else you can leave by default and save changes. Then we have object cache. In my server, I have memcache and Reddit extension enabled. In your case, if you cannot see anything, you can contact your host or check the description how you can enable memcache or Redis on your website. Once you can see this thing, you choose the method memcache, Redis, they both are nice. You can choose any of them. Then you can scroll the page. This option will be by default filled here. And then you can leave everything like that. Scroll the page and then click on save changes. Then we have browser cache. So make sure you turn on the browser cache because what it does whenever somebody visits your website, all the JS, CSS and some information which is not sensitive, they will be stored on user's computer. So whenever they visit your website next time, all the data will be served from user's computer. So this will make your website super fast. If you want to know the detailed video about it, check the description. And then we have advanced tab. We can leave everything like this. Improve HTTP, HTTPS compatibility. If your website is using both HTTP and HTTPS, you need to keep it on. Otherwise, you can leave it off. And then instant click. I'm going to click it on. It will bring some load on your server, but the really nice feature. My server is really nice. It can handle load, so I will keep it on. Then save changes. Okay, everything done by cache. Now we're going to even more interesting thing. CDN, click on CDN. So I'm going to enable the quick cloud CDN on. I'm going to leave the CDN mapping off and then what things you need to be on CDN include images, CSS, JS. I recommend all these three things whenever they are on CDN, they are served very fast to global visitors, not in just your country to the US all around the world. Don't worry if you're thinking I'm leaving some things. I'm not leaving anything. I'm leaving only those things which are not really important or what will bring very to no little effect on your website speed. One more important thing, if you're using Cloudflare, you can enable the Cloudflare from here. And you need to add your global API API token. I'm not going to cover that in this video because we are going to optimize website just using by Lightspeed Cache plugin. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you will know when I make that video, you will get the notification. So CDN is done. Then we click on image optimization. So yeah, image optimize summary. I already checked my images. In your case, you will have an option here to check images or something, analyze images. You click on that, it will show you how many images can be optimized. So once they are done, click on send optimization request and you can request maximum 200 images at once. I have only 332 images, so I need to do this a couple of times. In your case, if you have more than that images, you need to perform this operation several times. But it's okay, it's free. So why not? You can just click sometimes. And then we're gonna scroll. Do not remove original images backup. I highly recommend you. If you have storage on your website, do not remove the original backups. Maybe you need them in future. And then you have image optimization settings. Auto request cron, keep it off. Auto pull cron on. Optimize original images on, remove original backup, always off. Optimize losslessly, off, and then preserve XMP data. I'm gonna keep it off. Create WebP version, of course, for sure. This plugin also replaced the WebP plugin. Image WebP replacement on. You need to on this option. And then you have WebP for extra, as I said. Keep this on. There are some images which are not handled by WordPress. So in that case, those images will also be replaced by WebP images. And then WordPress image quality control. It is set by default 82. If you want to decrease a little bit lot, you don't worry about those things. Make this number lower and then save changes. And guys, for all these options, every time you make some change, you need to check your website. If it is working fine or not, sometimes it breaks the website. But normally, if you keep checking, if something breaks your website, just disable the option, do not use that. And then we have page optimization. It is an interesting one. I know all of you are looking for this because it really brings big effect on Google Page Speed scores. So first we have CSS settings. So CSS minify on, CSS combine on, generate UCSS on, UCSS inline on, combine external inline on, load CSS asynchrony on, CSS per URL on. Every option on this page should be on. And this one is swap. Make sure this option can break your website. So when you enable all the options, go and check your website. If it break your website, come back here and one by one, make them off and then turn them on. So for example, this option, on and on doesn't broke my website. So I make sure I will keep them on. And after that, if I make this on and break my website, I will make this option off. So make sure you're testing your website while using these options. It is really very important. And guys, always make a backup. I always tell you, you need to take backup of your website. It's super important. 
We do not need that stress when our website broke and we cannot recover it. So always take backup of your website. Okay, once done, we are going second option, GS yes, settings, everything on. Here, here, we are going to try defer. This option, load GS yes, deferred, it can break your website. If it break, try delayed. If that also break your website, keep it off. Okay, I am going to keep it deferred. I am going to save changes. Then we HTML settings, HTML if I on, prefetch, leave it by default, prefetch control on. So it will automatically detect the prefetch contents. And then remove query strings on, on, load Google fonts async on. I know you guys use a lot of Google fonts on your website. That is really not a good thing. You should not use Google fonts a lot on your website. One or two fonts, they're enough. Okay, so if you are using a lot of multiple fonts from Google, change that and use only one or two fonts. And then remove Google fonts. If you don't like Google fonts, you want to keep using the system fonts, you can turn this on. Then remove WordPress emoji on and then save changes and now media setting lazy load images on you see we are replacing so many plugins we replace js and cs optimization plugin webp plugin cdn plugin and now lazy load plugin this plugin is a monster plugin really after this plugin you do not need so many plugins on your website so lazy load images on this option here before your images will really load you will see a transparent image on your website if you want you can put a GIF here, it's like a loading sign. So whenever your website will wait to load, users can see those sign. Responsive placeholder on, then you can leave everything like that. And in the end, you have lazy load iframes. Keep it on if you're using a lot of YouTube videos or some embedded from other website. Keep it on. Add missing sizes. This option is really nice. Keep it on. It will improve your Google PageSpace score significantly. And then inline lazy load image library. Keep it on. And then save changes. And make sure, make sure guys, you test your website after all these changes. You do not need all the changes. I'm a programmer. I can really manage my website. Something breaks. I can tweak a little bit of things and I can make those things working. But for you, I don't want that you spend so much time and you frustrated by using this option and your website breaks. So make sure you keep checking your website. And something breaks, just comment down the video. I'm going to help you personally. I helped a lot of people in the past also. Say something breaks, you cannot handle it. Comment down below in the video. I'm going to help you guys and we can make your website super fast. Then media excludes. If you want to exclude some images from lazy load, you can add that thing here. Localization. If you want to cache the gravitas, you can keep this on. Cache cron, I will not put it on. And then save changes. And then we have tuning. So if you want to exclude some CSS, exclude some JSS, you can add those files here. You can see jQuery.js is by default added here. If your website is not very complicated, you can remove these things from here. It is a nice tip. But if you're using a lot of animations and a lot of other libraries, Keep the jQuery.js here and then leave everything like this and click on save changes. Then your database optimization. See, we are replacing another plugin like WP Optimize. You do not need separate plugin for optimizing database. So just you can clean all and everything will be cleaned in your database. This is a nice option. You can click on optimize tables. There are nine tables in my database which need to be optimized. You can optimize your database directly from here. I created a separate video about database optimization. So I'll not put so much time here. If you want to know, check the description of the video. Then you have some database optimization settings. You can leave everything zero if you don't want revision on your website. Then your crawlers. It is not really very important feature, guys. You can leave everything like that. And then your toolbox. So this is a toolbox to manage a lot of important things on your website. You can purge the cache on all the pages. For example, if you make some change, you can add see the effect. You can purge the cache from here, or you can just go directly here and clear an entire empty cache. It will instantaneously make your website slow for some time only. After a few minutes, your website will be faster again. Then import export. If you want to import the settings and export to another website, you can do that. Then your VHT file, not really very important. Just give you information what they change on your website. Heartbeat control. If you see your website resources usage is going so high, you can enable this option. So if you already know, there are a lot of plugins for doing this work. We can do this thing directly from here. Then your reports, debug setting, logs, beta test. I'm going to leave everything like that. And guys, now we are done. Let's see all the changes what I made, what the bring effect on my website page speed scores. I'm going to analyze my website again. So guys, now I'm scoring 100 for desktop devices. And for mobile devices, I'm scoring 90. If I'm going to refresh, it will even more improve because the cache is still in making. And guys, if you want to know how you can be more productive and manage your website like a boss, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how you can improve your website with other techniques, check out this video on screen. And like always, don't forget to demolish the like button and gently press the subscribe button. To learn most amazing, unique and useful content, you will not find anywhere else.